All right, so like we promised, we got Elijah Langang here. This is Peyton Langang's younger brother. Yes. I say that as I'm standing next to you, though, you're not very small. You're a pretty tall guy, and you're actually taller than Peyton, is from what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's already known. So, man, talk to me a little bit about, you know, you as a player, having an older brother that's on varsity as a junior, right? But more so, I guess, for you as a personal level, what is it like having your older brother just kind of leading you and just really, really helping you out grow? You know, into this uh, great sport of football. Uh, it's great. It's like a mentor, but it's someone that I can really believe in because I've had, well, 14 years to live with him, connect with him. So, I mean, I trust him with all my heart. I know he's leading me to the right place. So, it's great. Yeah, that's so good. And we were chatting with him a little bit about the positions he plays. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and kind of want to hear a little bit about your position and the things you play. So, you know, from what we've learned from you already, you're a D tackle, right? An offensive left tackle. I think yeah, it was sure. correct. Mm -hmm. And. You're one of those guys in the trenches day in and day out. Yes, and you're out there grinding. Nobody's really looking at you too often, but man, you're out there putting in the work, you yes, know, sir. so that running back can hit the hole or so that running back can get hit by you in the hole. Mm -hmm. And what is that like being in that position? Because some people don't always look at that as the most glamorous one, but man, you guys do a majority of the work in the football game anyway. You know, so what is that like in the trenches? It's just battling it out every day. Uh, well, I mean, everyone's working hard, but uh, yeah. yeah, the O-line and D-line, they're you know, they've got faith in the team. They're they're the backbone, really. But yeah, it's, it's fun, really. Oh yeah, y'all kind of, like you said, you're the backbone, but man, y'all are just the front five. Oh you yeah. Know, the front oh, five, yeah. the front four, whatever kind of defense is set you're in. But man, everything starts with you guys. You know, first connection, first contact really is you dudes, you know, really laying the blow. You know, what is that like as a player, you know, whether you're on defense or on offense, man, what really just gets you excited to get down that three-point stance every day or get excited to really take on you know, that defender or go take on that left tackle to pursue a sack. What is that feeling like for you? Uh, it's just nice to know that I can let out a little pent up aggression, <laughs> pancake somebody, it feels great, you know? So are you more of a defensive guy or an offensive guy? Would you rather go get that sack or would you rather just lay out a dude who's trying to get your running back? Uh, offense is great, but yeah, defense. I love just tackling, getting somebody out of my way, it's fun. Oh yeah, so for you, all right, a little bit, we're gonna get a little more detailed here. Um, more for you as a, as a person, right, more than maybe not as much as a player. What is something that really motivates you when you're not on the field, right, that drives you really just to be the best that you can be? You know, if that is something that, you know, is on the field, that's great. But, man, what is something that drives you outside of the, the white lines? Uh, my fellow teammates, my family, God, just all things that inspire me to be the best football player and just person outside of the football, you know? And that's so true. And again, you know, family seems like it's a big one here at Northland Christian. And, you know, you got a coach that's really wanting to just train you guys up into the next generation of, of young Christian men, you know, in this world. And, you know, what better than to have somebody like you that has an older brother doing the same thing. But, you know, you to be as a young man coming up as well, you know, an eighth grader with your size, I mean, you got a lot of potential coming through this program. You know, you're going to be somebody that's going to be talked about in the near future, man. What is that like knowing that I have so much, so much influence coming ahead of me or so much um, opportunity, you know, down the road? What is that like as a person knowing that? Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of... It's hard to think about, but it's yeah. nice having players uh, out here that I know have my back and my, my brother and my little brother that's coming in next year. That'll be nice to have, you know? So we even got a younger Lang Gang that's yes, coming sir. up through the ropes, mm -hmm. right? And is he uh, just as much into this as you guys? Uh, Yeah, for sure. It's in the family. Just something we've always done together, so yeah. Now what made you choose football, right? And there's a lot of sports out there. I'm not sure if you've played multiple sports and you know maybe uh, have, but man, what is something that made you really choose football? Just the family started it and then we just all found our passion in it. That's very awesome, man. So, hey, thank you so much, Elijah. We appreciate your time, bro. We, we're going to be coming out to your varsity games this year. If you're bumping up, hopefully you'll be up there. you got enough, uh, got enough size to definitely pull that off. Yes, but, sir. man, we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. If you want to learn a little bit more about Elevate North Houston, you can visit us at elevatenorthhouston.com. We're on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we look forward to talking to you guys again soon. And until then, we'll catch you at the next game. Thank you so much.